Imagine a moment, one of those instances when you pause and feel the energy of history around you. A place where the stories of millions of souls intertwine, a place that has witnessed generations of seekers of truth pass by. That place is the holy city of Mecca, and at its heart beats the Kaaba, the most revered structure by Muslims. But wait, there is something more, something hidden in plain sight, a mystery embedded in the eastern corner of the Kaaba. It is the black stone, known as Hajar al-Azwad. What makes this stone so special? Why is it considered so sacred by millions of Muslims around the world? Perhaps you've heard its name before, or maybe this is the first time you are encountering its story. Either way, today we are going to embark on a fascinating journey that will take us through time and space, from the times of the prophets to the present, to discover what the black stone really is and why it has captured the devotion of so many souls. What you will discover here is more than just a simple rock. It's a story that connects heaven with earth, the divine with the human, and eternity with the present. Prepare yourself for a journey that will take you to the desert sands, to the stories of the prophets, and to the hearts of millions of believers who, with tears in their eyes, seek a moment of connection with the sacred. Are you ready to discover the truth about the Black Stone? The story of the Black Stone begins in a time that is lost in the immensity of eternity, a time before human beings walked on earth. According to Islamic tradition, the Black Stone was sent from Paradise by Allah Himself, a celestial gift intended to mark the place where the House of Allah, the Kaaba, would be raised. Islamic texts tell us that the Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham, and his son Ismail, Ishmael, were entrusted with building the Kaaba under divine instruction. Ibrahim had received Allah's command to erect a house of pure worship, a place that would symbolize unity and devotion to the Creator of all things. When the construction was about to be completed, Ibrahim needed a special stone, something more than a simple block of material. It was then that the Archangel Jibril, Gabriel, appeared, holding in his hands a stone that shone with a celestial light. This stone was white, as pure as freshly fallen snow, and was given to Ibrahim to place in the eastern corner of the Kaaba. This story has profound meaning and symbolizes the direct connection between the divine and the earthly. The stone was not just a fragment of paradise, but a symbol of the covenant between Allah and humanity. And so, the black stone became the reference point that marked the place where the Kaaba would become the epicenter of Islamic faith. But what happened next? Why did the stone, which was initially white, turn black? This is where the story becomes even more intriguing. It is said that the black stone began to absorb the sins of the human beings who touched it with sincerity and repentance. Every tear shed, every whisper of forgiveness was absorbed by the stone, and over time, the light that emanated from it faded, darkening until it became completely black. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, explained it clearly in a hadith. The black stone descended from paradise and was whiter than milk. Then it turned black due to the sins of the children of Adam. This shows us that the stone is not only a symbol of connection with the divine, but also a reflection of humanity's struggle against sin and the desire for redemption. The story of the black stone did not end with Ibrahim and Ismail. Over the centuries, the stone has witnessed numerous historical events that have marked Islamic history. One of the most significant moments occurred during the life of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him when the Kaaba was rebuilt by the tribes of Mecca. At that time, a conflict broke out among the tribes over who would have the honor of placing the black stone in its place. The conflict was so serious that violence was feared. It was then that the young Muhammad, who had not yet received the revelation, proposed a solution that would demonstrate his wisdom and sense of justice. He placed the stone on a cloak and asked the leaders of each tribe to lift the cloak together allowing him to place the black stone in its place. Thus, with a simple gesture, he resolved a conflict that could have had devastating consequences. Isn't it fascinating how an object can be both a witness and protagonist of the most crucial moments in history? For Muslims, the importance of the black stone goes beyond its origin or history. 
It is an integral part of Hajj and Umrah, the two sacred pilgrimages made to the Kaaba. During the ritual of Tawaf, pilgrims circumambulate the Kaaba seven times counterclockwise, starting and ending at the Black Stone. Why? Because the Black Stone marks the beginning and the end of this act of worship, a gesture that symbolizes eternity and the desire to be closer to Allah. When pilgrims pass by the Black Stone, they try to touch or kiss it, just as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did. And if they cannot do so due to the crowds, they simply raise their hand in its direction as an act of respect and devotion. This simple gesture has profound significance. It is an act of humility, a way of saying, I am here, Allah, in your presence, seeking your forgiveness and mercy. The black stone also symbolizes the unity of the Ummah, the Muslim community. Regardless of their origin, race or language, every pilgrim who comes to Mecca stands before the same stone, performs the same rituals, and shares the same faith. It is a reminder that before Allah, we are all equal and that our true identity is defined by our faith and devotion. For centuries, the black stone has been a subject of fascination not only for believers, but also for scientists and archaeologists who have tried to discover its true origin. There are many theories about its composition, and one of the most popular is that the black stone could be a meteorite that fell to Earth thousands of years ago. Studies have suggested that its texture and appearance are similar to certain types of meteorites, which would explain its celestial origin. Another theory is that the stone is a type of volcanic rock, or even an agate, a mineral that forms under extreme conditions of heat and pressure. However, since exhaustive scientific analyses of the black stone have not been allowed, its true nature remains a mystery. Could it be that the stone is truly a fragment of paradise, or is it simply an object that has acquired sacred significance over the centuries? What is fascinating is that the black stone is not the only sacred object that has captured the imagination and devotion of human beings. In Judaism, Jacob's stone is considered sacred, and it is said to be the place where the patriarch Jacob had a heavenly vision. In Christianity, the Holy Cross represents the sacrifice of Jesus and is a central symbol of the Christian faith. And in many indigenous cultures, certain mountains, rivers, and stones are considered places of power and connection with the spiritual world. Could it be that, as human beings, we have an innate need to connect with the divine through tangible objects, symbols that help us understand the inexplicable? The Black Stone has witnessed numerous events in the history of Islam, from the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to modern times. During the period of the Caliphates, Muslim rulers endeavored to protect and preserve the Black Stone, understanding that its value went beyond the material. One of the most difficult moments for the Black Stone occurred in the 10th century when it was stolen by the Karmadi sect and taken to Bahrain. For more than two decades, the Black Stone was absent from the Kaaba, and Muslims worldwide prayed for its return. Finally, the Black Stone was returned, but not without having suffered damage, as it had broken into several pieces. Today, the black stone is protected by a silver frame that holds it together, a reminder of its resilience and the unyielding faith of those who have venerated it for centuries. As with any sacred object, the black stone has been surrounded by myths and misunderstandings throughout history. Some people believe that the stone has magical powers, while others have accused it of being an object of idolatry. But Islam is very clear on this point. The black stone is not an idol, it has no powers of its own, and it is not an object of worship. It is simply a symbol, a witness of faith, and a point of connection with Allah. Even the second caliph of Islam, Umar ibn al-Khattab, expressed this idea when he said, I know that you are a stone that can neither benefit nor harm, and if I had not seen the Prophet kissing you, I would not kiss you. This reminder is crucial to understanding the true meaning of the black stone in Islam. It is a symbol of faith, not an object of worship. In today's world, where technology and materialism often try to divert attention from the spiritual, the black stone remains a reminder of eternity and the divine. 
For the millions of pilgrims who perform Hajj each year, the opportunity to be in the presence of the Black Stone is a moment of humility, gratitude, and connection with the Divine. Many Muslims who have not had the opportunity to perform Hajj dream of the day they will be able to stand before the Black Stone, touching or kissing it, and experiencing the same connection felt by the prophets and millions of believers before them. The Black Stone is more than just a simple stone. It is a symbol that unites Muslims worldwide, a connection between the divine and the human, between the past and the present, and between earth and paradise. Throughout its history, it has endured challenges, conflicts, and misunderstandings, but its essence has remained intact. So, the next time you think of the Black Stone, remember that you are contemplating something that is more than just an object. It is a witness to the faith, devotion, and love that human beings have felt for Allah throughout the centuries. It is a fragment of the eternal in the earthly world, and it will continue to be a beacon of faith for all those who seek the divine in their lives.